This will be the first drop-off tank on that channel. Hello and welcome to Sea Friendly Reef. As you can see, Germany is full of snow. The weather is awesome. And we are doing one of my favorite activities because we are taking a closer look at a reef tank. And today, this will be the first drop off tank on that channel. What you did not know is the fact that I've been here about six months ago because I wanted to film the start of this project uh, that we have the perfect pictures of the process. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> What a wonderful construction here. Directly when you enter Peter's house, that tank leads you into the living area. It's amazing to see what has changed after a half a year. Back at my first visit, Peter had only glued the reef rocks together. Therefore, I had to wait that long until I could finally show it to you. What a great job! My first question to Peter was of course how he got the idea for such an aquarium. And now it gets interesting. This is actually his first saltwater aquarium. This idea was born on his honeymoon in the Maldives. His wife and he had bought snorkeling equipment and as he dove over the precipice of a reef cliff, he was enchanted by this majestic underwater world. His goal was to recreate just that at home. Thus the idea of a drop-off tank was born. These types of aquariums can be found more and more often all over the world and I know that it is not always easy to get enough current into these tanks. So you've got two MP40 Ecotex on the bottom and two more here and the flow is going this way and this way up and crashing around here and there you've got the return pump and uh, you've got two nearly dead points here and here but this is the best way to get some flow into a drop-off tank in my opinion the technology is hidden under and yes also next to the tank in addition to an ecotech vectra m return pump and a deltec 1000 i skimmer peter has installed a uv system the small refill tank was his very first freshwater aquarium. Now it contains about 60 liters of osmosis water. Fun fact, Peter built the acrylic tank completely by himself. He bought an old aquarium and customized the parts to fit the dimensions 140 by 60 by 100 centimeters. At 80 cm the drop starts and the appear pod is 50 cm high. The steel frame was specially made to support the weight of the aquarium. 
And this is a perfect place for all the equipment. The overflow is attached separately to the tank so it cannot be seen while you are looking into the reef. With the remaining parts acrylic bars were glued on. After that it was fun because Peter had to tear down a wall to place the aquarium in the entrance area. He chose a salt wooden construction and put a new piece of stairs next to it. Here you have to work incredibly accurate so that the aquarium stands straight at the end. Peter attached the cladding to the steel frame with magnets. Personally I like one feature in that sump area at most. A small pedestal for the tools of the Ecotech pumps. I think everyone can relate the struggle of not knowing where to put all the tools for these pumps. I find that cleverly solved. What a great tank. Especially on this day when the sun was shining, the play of colors was a spectacle. Hallo! Yay! <laughs> ja, hallo! <laughs> oi, 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 fine. Oh, fine, fine, fine. Oh, fine, fine, fine. <laughs> oh. Peter fell in love with a special coral species while stocking his reef tank, Euphilias. So only in the drop zone we find some different animals of these LPS corals. Glabrescent cream. Genau. Black torch green center. A golden torch. Normal black torch. Glabrescent brown. Okay. Dragon soul. Toxic green. Malaysia holy grey. Maybe. Okay. And I love how he placed them because that just looks very natural. Everything makes a coherent picture and is moving, that looks great. Write in the comments what do you think of such an aquarium shape? Would this also be something for you? And like every aquarium on this channel, you also find Peters on the website. There you can see water values and a technical list. It was a honor to present that tank and I am looking forward to next week.